Hello and welcome to Everyday Cooking with Anne. Today, uh, well, it's the middle of the summer, actually 4th of July weekend, and we are making some pork baby back ribs. And I know it would be so easy to go to the store and buy your favorite rub if you have one. But in case you, uh, I live a little bit of ways away from the store and I forgot to pick up some rubs. So I have a homemade rub that I make and I keep a lot of it on hand just to use for seasoning for different things, especially in barbecue sauce and things like that. So, because I do make my own barbecue sauce, it's amazing. I have like several recipes and my son Brandon, whom hopefully you'll go check out how to make his ribs and smoke them on my channel as well. I have a playlist showing him how to make these same ribs. I'm showing you today how to make the spice rub for the ribs and also how to do oven, um, oven baked ribs, which I honestly love even better than Brandon's fancy smoked ribs on the barbecue because they bake slowly in the oven and they're fall apart ribs and at the last minute you take them out to the barbecue and slather all this barbecue sauce on them and with the rub and barbecue sauce together I mean they're so good I you, they're unfor unforgettable really so let's get started I'm gonna have my um, videographer pan the different spices that we're going to be using and then I'm going to go one by one and show you what to put inside. So we have quite a few spices that we're using to make this rub, but I just happen to have a lot of spices on hand. And so I'm going to add these to our rub so that I can use it on our pork ribs today. Okay, so let's get started. Um, one of the things that's not in the recipe that I found in my cupboard and I thought, okay, smokehouse maple. I'm going to put a tablespoon of this in. I smelled it. it. It has that liquid, smoky, yummy flavor type thing. So I'm going to put a tablespoon of that in. In our rub. And, okay, first thing I'm going to talk is, this is just going to be eyeballing it, but about a half a tablespoon of ground pepper. And then next we have cayenne. Now, of course, you don't want too much cayenne pepper. But you can see right here we're going to be putting in a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. This is going to give it um, a little bit major kick. So cayenne pepper there. And along with that we're going to put a tablespoon of chili powder. And we'll put that in. And then uh, also um, a tablespoon of ground cumin. about right. Then we have a tablespoon of sugar and also half a tablespoon of white sugar as well. So this is brown sugar and white sugar because we need to have the sweet that's going to caramelize with it. And then we're going to put in a half a tablespoon of ground oregano. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to put in a two tablespoons of paprika, very important um, ingredient in barbecue sauces and barbecue rubs. So we're going to put two tablespoons of this in. Okay, and then we are also going to be putting in a whole tablespoon of, of my Himalayan salt. This is my regular table salt. salt. Also, a uh, half a tablespoon of ground white pepper. All right. And then we are putting in some garlic powder too. This is gonna be one and a half tablespoons of garlic powder. There we go. I'm just going to mix this all up. So in this video we're doing the spice rub and then I'm going to show you how to make the um, ribs getting ready to go into the oven. Now you want to do the, rib the ribs ahead of time. Uh, prepare the ribs ahead of time like I'm doing this in the morning because we're going to be barbecuing this afternoon. So let's go over and look at our ribs that I got from Costco. These are the meatiest and best ribs ever. And I've already done a little bit of this, but you want to dry them as good as, as well as you can because you are going to be putting a rub on. You want the glue to stick and you don't want it to have any juices still attached to your 
from the packaging that your ribs came in, so I'm going to go ahead and dry these the best that I can. I've already done one, one time through with my paper towels, but this is the best way to dry your meat to prepare. And those of you who have seen my son's video on how to prep ribs, um, this is the surprising ingredient of mustard. And it you don't taste the mustard, but it is the glue that you put on the ribs. So we're just going to put a little stream down here and here. And we're going to rub these in. Okay, and then... We are putting a generous amount of our rub on top. Okay, now we're going to turn these over, kind of get that glue in there, pat it in there. We're going to turn these over here and repeat. Now uh, we're going to put some more of this rub on here. And when we're finished with this, we're going to cover it with some aluminum foil. And you're going to put that on very tight because we're going to be steaming these. And they're going to go in my oven at 275 degrees for two to three hours, depending on how well done you want your ribs. You want them slow cooking, and that's why they're at the 275. I'm going to probably put these in. We're eating at 6 o'clock, so I'm going to probably put these in at about uh, 3 o'clock because I'm going to be making oven fries in my oven too to, along with this dinner and I want to make sure these are done and ready to put on the barbecue which we're going to do. So these are all set to go. I'm going to cover these with aluminum foil and then I want to keep them in the refrigerator uh, to marinate until I'm ready to, to put them in the oven and then I want to take them out a little bit before the oven to get it to room temperature as well. So that's what we're ready to do. I'm just going to put the aluminum foil on and we'll show you when we take them out of the oven just how wonderful they look before we go to the barbecue. Our ribs have been baking at 275. I've had this aluminum foil tightly gripped in here so that it would uh, keep the ribs steaming so that they're nice and tender. Um, and so this is what they look like when you take them out of the oven. I've gone ahead and just sliced in between here uh, and between the ribs so we can put them on the barbecue. I've made our uh, Kansas City barbecue sauce. It's all ready to go to spread on the ribs. You only want to keep these on the barbecue for just a minute or two so that the sauce will meld into the ribs and then they're ready to serve. So this only took a little bit of prep time and then you in your oven for about two, two and a half hours. I kept them in for two and a half hours and they're perfectly tender and juicy. Some of the juices came out, but it's all melded in with all the rub that we put on. It's gonna be delicious. Here's our finished oven baked ribs that we made. And we've cut them into pieces. We've smothered them with our Kansas City barbecue sauce that was homemade as well. And they were delicious. They were really tender and wonderful. And we hope you'll try this new way to do it. If you don't have a smoker or other fancy uh, barbecue tools to use your, to make your ribs. And I have got the recipe uh, below with a, along with the Kansas City barbecue sauce I, and show me more on, on the channel. So, so thank you for watching and I hope that you'll have a great summer trying these ribs out and hope you'll subscribe as well and share it with your friends.